In this step, we are going to go over how to create and authenticate to Azure with a service principle in PowerShell. So before we can get too far, you're going to need the Azure RM PowerShell modules, and those are available via the PowerShell gallery by running install module Azure RM. Once you have the Azure PowerShell modules installed, we then need to authenticate to Azure to first create the service principle. To do that, we will use the Connect Azure RM account. It's going to prompt you for your username and password. I will go ahead and provide those. All right, once I do that, you can see that it returns that we are authenticated, in my instance, to Visual Studio Premium with MSDN. That's just one of my subscriptions. I have a few of them. So once we are authenticated to the appropriate subscription, we then need to create the Azure AD application. Before we can actually create the application, we need to create a secure string. And the secure string is how the new Azure RM AD application command accepts a password. So we, we cannot just create an AD application with a plain text string. So we can do that by using the convert to secure string command. And notice here that in order to, to convert a plain text password, in this case PowerShell rocks, to a secure password, we have to use the as plain text and force parameters. So once I have that created, I will do this. And then now I can create the AD application using the new Azure RM AD application command. And I'm using the display name of TextSnips and the identifier URI's parameter of the TextSnips URL. But for our intents and purposes, it doesn't matter. We can put anything we want. It's, I just kind of have a demo, some demo values set up. So we'll go ahead and run this. And I did save it to a variable, which I will show you why here in a minute. And now you can see that the AD application has been created. All right, so next up, we have to create this service principle that references that application we just created. To do that, it's just a single line, new Azure RM AD service principle. And there's only one required parameter, the application ID. And since I saved the output of the AD application that we just created, I simply can just reference that same application that we just created. All right, once I do that, I can check it out. And now you can see that the application service principle was created. So next up, now we need to assign a role to the service principle because right now we don't know what kind of permissions that the service principle has. We use new Azure RM role assignment command to do this. For this instance, I'm passing the contributor as the role definition name. You don't have to use contributor. I need this service principle to have a little more rights than what a normal user would have. So I'll go ahead and use contributor at this time. And then I'm using the service principle names, the first index of zero in that array, referencing the SP variable, which is the service principle that we just created here. So I will go ahead and run this. And notice that we didn't have any errors, which is good. And we have a new role assignment created. So we have, we have assigned a role to the service principle. Finally comes the big test. We have to test it. So first off, since we can test this by using the connect Azure RM account, but we first need to um, get the subscription ID and the tenant ID for the subscription that we are going to use. In my case, I'm just going to query the Visual Studio Premium with MSDN subscription that I have and assign that to a variable. Once I do that, then I have the tenant ID and the subscription ID available as properties. All right, so next up, I need to use the credential for the application that we just created. I would need to create a PS credential object. I can create a PS credential object using the get credential command. And for this instance, if I run this, Notice that I use the username of myapp.applicationID. That is the application ID of the application I just created. So that is the username for the credential. Next, I need to use that same password that I provided earlier. So I will use PowerShell rocks here. Now I have that credential saved. Now I can finally use the connect Azure RM account command. I'm specifying the service principle switch to let it know that this is a service principle. It's not just a username and password. I'm using the subscription ID in the subscription I just created my application and the tenant ID 
as well. And then finally there at the end, I'm using the app cred or the credential, which is the application ID is the username and the password that I had created earlier as the credential. I will go ahead and run this. And then now you can see that it is authenticated. And you can tell that it's authenticated with the service principle because the account there, you can see that it is that application ID that I created earlier. So that's how you can create and authenticate with a service principle to Azure in PowerShell. Thanks for watching.